Okay, I think I'm live now. I had set this for three o'clock. I thought I'd had set it for one o'clock, and now I went back and changed it to one o'clock. Uh, this is another uh, Timu. I got another Timu package. You know, here's here's the package. Timo Timu in their wonderful packaging technique. They just stuff everything in a bag, and. Uh, I thought, well, what the what the heck? I'll I'll do another Timu unpackaging, uh, unwrapping, whatever you want to call it. Uh, yeah, I'm in my underwear, and that's the thing is, folks that know me know that I'm all. If you go to see me, usually I'm in my boxer briefs, uh, and uh, so you newcomers, yeah, you're you're often going to see me in my underwear, and and I'm not trying to show anything off by any means. But in this part of Texas, uh, particularly this time of year and into the summer, it gets hot. Gets hot. And, and I, in this, I have a living in a trailer house. I just have a window air conditioner that cools the whole living room area, kitchen area where I'm at now. I'm in the living room. Uh, and, you know, summer, sometimes it gets 110 degrees, you know. I mean, we'll sometimes go three months straight where it's 100 degrees, at least 100 degrees every single day. And in here in the house, you know, with the air conditioner going full blast, I can, if I'm lucky, I can get it into like the, the low to mid 80s inside the house. And to me, that's cool, you know. Uh, but if I, I, I spend most of my days outside. Now, today it's been raining off and on. We actually got a cold front come in a few days ago. Knocked it down into the like the low to mid 60s, and I think to, to today and tomorrow Sunday, it's supposed to be like in the low to mid 60s, and then start getting up, you know, 70s and 80s again. But anyway, it's rainy today, kind of nasty outside, and all that. But usually, I spend most of my days outdoors. I do. I get a lot of exercise. I do like chin ups and dips and stuff like that. I walk, uh, push ups, uh, very active. And but I just I'm very hyperactive and I can't stand I can't stand to be indoors, particularly during the day. So I spend most of my days outdoors. But today, like it's rainy, kind of drizzly, sprinkling and nasty outside. So I'm, I'm outside off and on today. And I got my Timu package, <laughs> my recent Timu package. So I thought I'd go ahead and open it. And one of the reasons why I'm in my boxer briefs is because I think that's part of the package is boxers. Um, I know some things that are in here and some things I have completely forgotten. And you know, Timu, if you order from Timu, you get varying degree, various degrees of quality. I've been pretty lucky with the stuff that I've gotten from Timu. Uh, most of it's been pretty good quality and the clothes have been so comfortable. I've got boxer briefs. I've got, uh, shirts, socks. And I'm pretty much everything I've gotten as far as clothes has been comfortable. So, and uh, do we have anybody in here? Nope. <laughs> Not seeing anybody in here. It is, this is a very impromptu uh, video. Uh, so, like the last one I did. So, most people are going to, if they're going to tune in, they're going to tune in later. So, let's see what we got here. I think these are boxers pink. In just a minute, I'll try some on. Give you a fashion show. Uh, these may be the boxers. I think these are the boxers. Yeah. I don't know what this is. It might be a shirt. Hang on. But I, like I say, the shirts I've been really happy with. They've been really comfortable. Okay. Let's see what this is. Ah. Uh. Oh, yeah, this is a, I think you call this like a bento bowl. And what it is, it's a bowl. See, it's a bowl. But it's got a lid that you can put in the microwave, and it's got a, uh, a vent button here on the top where you can vent stuff. So you can, like, cook ramen and, you know, soup and stuff, you can heat up in the microwave, but it's got a removable lid, removable lid, but yeah, this is cool, I've been wanting one of these, 
and it's got this vent where you in it let the steam out and stuff, you know. So yeah. I think it's called a bento bowl, I think. But yeah, this is really cool. I'm anxious to uh, try that out. Uh okay. All right, let's see what else we got here. Uh, these are they're going to be small, but binoculars. And I wanted a pair. I don't I've got an old pair of binoculars you can barely see through. They're so scratched up and so worn out. And these are little bitty binoculars. I think they unfold. So hang on. Little cleaning cloth for the lenses. Put that in here. It's got a little case with the Velcro opening on it. And let's see the actual yeah. And how do you oh oh okay. Yeah, cool. So it's a little pair of binoculars. And yeah. I'm anxious to get these outside and see how well they, they work, you know. Uh, how well you see outside. But yeah, a little pair of binoculars. Isn't that sweet? And they fold up. See? Well, cool, 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 cool. Yeah. I'm, I've been, and these were about 10 bucks, I think, for the binoculars. So, you know, pretty inexpensive and seem to be pretty good quality, seem to be sturdy and, and good solid material. I, I don't know if it's, is it metal or plastic? I think it's plastic, but it seems to be pretty good material solid, you know, and uh, it's kind of hard to see in here how far I can see, you know, inside the house, but I'll take this outside and see. But yeah, binoculars. Uh, and I'm not going to unfold this one or unbox this, but it is uh, a broom and dustpan set and that I was really needing this. A, a broom and dustpan. So, yeah. That's what that is. Broom and dustpan. And last thing. I think this is another shirt. Well, let's go ahead and do some fashion stuff here. And uh, so. I think this is a shirt. And hang on. Let me go off camera so I won't expose myself too much. And I'll come back. Okay. Uh <clears throat> Yeah, it, it uh, this was under two bucks, I think, this shirt. And I like, particularly this time of year, tank, tank shirts, tank tops. But there's not much to this one. Uh, but anyway, I'll be there in just a moment. But yeah, it is comfortable. But yeah, here we go. <laughs> and I think it says faith. So I guess it's kind of maybe like a religious thing. I'm not real religious. I, I say my prayers every day, you know, and, and but uh, but I got it mainly because it was cheap. I think this was under two bucks <laughs> for or just around two dollars, but I think I think it might have been even under two dollars. But it's it I don't know what this material is. It's kind of slick feeling and but it feels real comfortable. But yeah, tank shirt. And you say, well, I, you know, I'm getting my exercise. I do, I do a lot of chin ups and stuff, and uh, uh, what they call dips, where you raise yourself up. You know, I got this uh, exercise set that a man sent me from a, a a fitness group. He sent it to me free from Amazon. It's like 125 dollars this thing, and you can do chin ups and stuff like that. But he had said, you know, you've inspired me looking at what you've done with no with no equipment and how you've improved yourself. And you've helped me improve myself. I used to weigh over 300 pounds. I've lost over 100 pounds. And I'm continuing to lose weight and I'm getting exercise. And you've really influenced me seeing what you've done with no equipment. And I wanted to send you, I want you to send you something, you know, equipment, well, like exercise equipment. So he sent me this chin up set and you can do dips and push ups and stuff on it. And it, yeah, it was like around Christmas time. So I got a real nice Christmas gift from this guy. So I've been doing that and doing my exercise on that. So yeah, I'm getting kind of, Getting the, getting the guns here, getting, kind of working on the guns. And this shirt kind of helps show them off here a little bit. <laughs> uh, but yeah, real comfortable. That's one I think I'm saying about all the clothes I've gotten from Timu. It's been really comfortable. 
and I don't work there, so I'm not <laughs> I'm not getting paid. Looks like we got two people in here. So speak up if you're here. Uh, say something. Um, okay, now let's see what this is. I don't know what this is. It looks like a shirt. I didn't know I ordered two shirts, but let's see what this is. No, it's shorts. Short, short, shorts. Oh, yeah, yeah. Red shorts. I got two pair of black shorts, and I got these red. Oh, goodness. Red shorts. Here we go. Yeah. Yeah. And like I say, they're so comfortable. That's one thing I keep saying about Timu clothes. The clothes I've gotten, at least, from Timu have been so comfortable. But yeah, red shorts. Okay. Well, I like what I've gotten so far. Cool. Now, I got this, I think it's five pair of boxer briefs. About five bucks, like a buck a piece, I think. Might have been less than that, but I think it's five pair. But they're they're they look like they're real colorful and got different designs on them and stuff. So let's do a little boxer brief fashion show here. Uh, let's see. And I'm going to be careful not to disrobe on camera here. But okay. And it says Marfo. I don't know what that is. Marfo. But looks like it's got these different and bottles of beer. It's this beer. Yeah, beer. But let me go ahead. Let me uh, do do uh let me get these uh shorts off first. So comfortable though, these shorts. Lots like I say, the clothes have been so comfortable. But okay, let's let's uh move my sh uh, chair back a little bit here. So, let's go ahead and do a fashion show here. Why not? Uh, oh, and by the way, uh, thank you everyone that has watched Being Real. We're doing, uh, we're getting more viewers. Uh, last night's show for like favorite horror films, it's like 122 views, which I'm proud of. You know, I know for a lot of folks that do videos on YouTube, it's like, that's nothing. You know, 100 views, gosh, that's, that's absolutely nothing. For me, I'm really proud of it. 122 views for the last night show. And then a couple of more, uh, others that we did, the uh, Hitchcock show. I think that's got over 200, I think. And there's another one of the shows we did that's got over 200 views. And uh, I am so happy about that. And they keep going up, and I'm getting more uh, people joining the the uh, the my YouTube page here, and and coming across the the Being Real show. So thank you guys, everyone that's been watching, and please help spread the word. And if you're watching any of the the videos like this one, please give it a thumbs up because that helps us a lot. The thumbs up. But okay, so and that's what it's 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 signs it looks uh, and uh no beer bottles is what looks like beer bottles i uh, i don't drink beer anymore i used to but I, but anyway i think that's what it is. so hang on okay uh, <clears throat> hang in there i'm still with you ah, uh. like say Gosh, they're comfortable. So comfortable. I'm going to try not to expose too much of myself here. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. And they're beer bottles. Uh, that's, what they, that's what these look like. Beer bottles. Yeah. My butt. You see, I kind of work on this butt. So, show my butt off. <laughs> but, yeah. Uh, beer bottles. Yeah. Okay. All right. What's this one? Uh, it's sides, but they're it's weird because they're upside down. No, here the the back ones are upside down. The front ones are annual summer, and like I see, I I see, uh, you know, a hot air balloon and a, a car and such. Yeah, annual summer. So hang on, hang on. Uh, all right. But yes, yeah, so comfortable. And five pair 
and I want to say they were four dollars and something. I'll have to look to see what they were, but uh, but yeah, okay, go, yeah, these are this. And let's see what we got here. Okay. I see. Once again, uh, the words are upside down, so it's hard to say. Uh, com, I don't know. I, it, it's some foreign word. A couple of foreign words. But uh, trying to see exactly what the design here, but I'm not really seeing it. But anyway, it's what you see here. But hang on. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Stay with me. Make sure I got them all right. Of what I said about the ones I, I tried on before. There's no opening for your junk when you need to pee. <laughs> so you have to pull them down to get your stuff out to do that business. But yeah. Okay. Here these are. Okay. All right. We're closing in here. I think I have two pair left. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to think. What does this say? Uh, I, I'm not even going to try. Hotel. I can't even pronounce it. <laughs> this is all foreign stuff. Of course, of course, Timu is a Chinese company, so I don't know what the... Uh, what the country is this is supposed to represent or whatever, but and I don't know what Mar Mari Marfo it says on the on the uh, band here. I don't know what that is. We have anybody in here? I'm seeing three people. Hey, speak up if you're here. Let me know you're here. Just let me know who you are. Say hello to me. But anyway, let me try these on. So okay. <clears throat> But yeah, this has been a nice little haul. I've been keeping my Timu stuff uh, at about $30. That's pretty much my cutoff point, is around $30. And so all in, it'll turn out to be about $35, you know, maybe a little less, maybe a little more. But I, that's kind of my cutoff point. It's, about, it's around $30. But yeah, it's oh, so comfortable. I don't know what this material is, but man, it's just so soft and feels so good. There you go. All right, let's see what the last one is here. Hang on. Yeah, we got a comment here. Uh, Twisted X says, rock on, Jay. Hey, Twisted X. Thank you, sir. I'll try to rock on. This one might be the most colorful, and it's a camera. Yeah, see? It's a camera. Or cameras. Yeah. Okay. And I'll, these will be my last ones that I put on for now. So. Hang in there, please. All right. Uh, okay. Yeah. Really nice. Comfortable. I'll have to keep saying that. Comfortable. <laughs> but anyway, that's where the... the, the the camera design. So, yeah. Show my ass. I keep that ass in good shape, boy. I'm 58 years old, but I keep my, I keep things firm and taut. <laughs> so, I'm proud of that. So, yeah, this has been a good uh, haul, I think. Uh, I'm really proud of my bento bowl. They like say it's got the thing that you can vent for in the microwave, like heating soups and ramen and stuff. And my binoculars, these are look really nice and they feel really, I think they're plastic. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know if they're plastic or it's some kind of metal that's got a sort of a, a plastic coating on it, but I think they might be plastic, but, but they seem to be in good shape. And they come with a little holder here, and it's got a little uh, cloth to clean the lenses. And yeah, these little little binoculars. 
and they fold up. And I'm really anxious to try these out, go outside and try these out. So I'll put on some clothes. I'll put on at least, a, I'll put on my new shorts probably and uh, go out and try that. Uh, and I got uh, this, uh, I'll put it together later, you know, because it's got a handle and all that. You got to screw it together and all that. But it's a, uh, a broom and a dustpan set. I was really needing. So what's that? Uh, got the shorts, the shirt I'm wearing, the faith shirt, which I, you know, I wear a lot of, 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 of tank shirts and things like that, particularly when it gets as hot as it's getting right now. It's kind of cool. And tomorrow I think it's supposed to be cool, but it's to start warming up again. And we're entering, like I say, summertime in Texas and goodness gracious, you know, there's people that, you know, come from other states and stuff and they come to Texas and they're like, good God Almighty, <laughs> they come during the summer because, oh man, 100 degree weather months at a time in Texas during the summer. So, but uh, in my faith shirt, <laughs> which, you know, I'm not trying to uh, be a show of like over religious or anything, but it's just really comfortable and it was really cheap. It was like, you know, buck 50 or something like that. I don't know. And I think all in, everything was about $35. Um, and like, say, the the uh, binoculars, the most expensive thing was the binoculars and the uh, uh, the dustpan and broom set was close to $10, I think. And this was about $10, the, the binoculars. So, uh, And my uh, boxer briefs that get five pair of them for... I'm going to say about $5. I think it might have been even less than that. And so the material is, is so soft and so comfortable. Comfortable? Yeah. So, uh, but uh, we, we heard from Twisted X. And uh, um, so I guess I'm going to sort of wrap things up here. Uh, I'll try to be careful what I expose here. But if you've seen my, if you know who I am and have seen my other stuff that I've done in other places, huh, you've seen me often in my boxer briefs. Uh, let's see. Got another comment here. Um, Blair Hathaway. What's up, Jay? Hey, Blair. Hey, how you doing? Doing this Timu unboxing. And uh, uh, that's what I've been doing. And like I say, trying not to expose myself too much. I'm in these boxer briefs. But if you've seen me, you have often have seen me in my boxers. And if you're new to or being real, well, heads up, you're often going to see me in my boxer briefs because of the kind of weather we have in Texas. And I just have this room. I don't even have it on now. Uh, I I got it covered up for wintertime, my, my uh, uh, window air conditioner. So I haven't even uncovered it yet. I've been just running fans. But today's been kind of cool, and tomorrow's supposed to be kind of cool. But when it gets hot in Texas, this room, this window air conditioner I got can maybe get it in like the mid-80s inside this house. That a lot of people would think that's really hot, and to me, that's cool during the summertime because we 100-degree-plus temperatures we have during the summer. So if I'm indoors... I'm usually in my boxer briefs or if I'm by myself and I'm not doing something like this, it all comes off because <laughs> I live alone. I got no one to, you know, to, uh, to, to dismay or disgust. <laughs> and I got locked my door and if someone wants to, to, to talk to me, they knock on that door. I keep my, my uh, curtains closed. But yeah, it, during the summertime, I come home during the evening because I spend most of my days outdoors because I'm very, you know, I like, I'm very active. I like to be outside. But I come in during the evening and it's during the summertime. It all comes off. And I just do, I fix my food or whatever, watch TV or whatever. And, and I miss the way I come into the world. <laughs> I'm the way that God made me. Uh, and let's see, Blair says, we need a day in the life of Jay Real. What's a normal day look like? I'm glad you're back. Well, thank you, Blair, so much. A normal day for me here lately, well, for for a long time, is I get up and drink coffee. And since I got a Keurig, I drink two pods in the morning. I've got me a big, you know, 
carafe or whatever you call it, you know, mug thing. Uh, I drink two pods of coffee and I and I eat one pop tart and that's my breakfast. Coffee and a pop tart. Well, I'm so naturally hyperactive. I've got to keep my caffeine intake just in the morning, you know, unless it's a soda or something like that. But coffee, yeah, just in the morning. I drink two pods. And then I usually do push-ups, morning push-ups. What do I do? I do 30 push-ups and I rest a few seconds and I do 30 more and rest a few seconds and I do that 10 times. So 300 push-ups in the morning. I know that sounds like a lot, but, uh, but you know, working on, working on these guns and I'm working on the body. And then I put on shorts or whatever in a shirt and I go outside and I'll do exercises on the uh, chin-up bar set I've got. I do chin-ups, and push-ups. Uh, or what they call dips is where you raise yourself up and I'll go for a walk. But I spend most of my days outdoors. Uh, but uh, if you know me, you know that uh, I like to do short films. And I did Crystal last year. And the year before that, I made She Made a Monster. And this year, my script is called The List. And this is probably the most serious thing I've ever done as far as a subject matter for a short film. And it's about these two sisters. One's in like her mid-20s and, and then she's got a younger sister who's about 10. And they're like on the road and they're tracking down these um, uh, child abusers that have gotten off like on a light sentence. And uh, particularly the big sister is like trying to bring them to justice. You know, they didn't get they didn't get the uh, the time in prison or whatever that they that they feel like uh, these people deserved. And so they find a way to bring them to bring them to justice. Um, and mainly it's the big sister that's doing that because the little sister was abused by their own father. He's dead now and their mother is dead. So it's just the sisters now. And the big sister, I guess, feels guilty that she wasn't there for her little sister when this was going on with, with their father. She didn't know it until the little sister had told her after the fact, after it had happened. And so the big sister feels guilty about that, that, that she wasn't there to help her sister. She didn't know this was happening. So now she's pursuing these child abusers uh, and, you know, trying to bring them to justice, so to speak. When the little sister just wants to be a kid, she wants, you know, they're not going, she's, she's taking her out of school. They've been sleeping in their car, you know, uh, but the big sister sold their house. So they've got some money. The little sister just wants to get another house. She wants to go back to school. She wants to live a normal life. She wants to forget about the things that happened with their father and what the abuse that she suffered. She just wants to live a life and just forget about that and just be a, be a kid, you know. But the big sister is so determined to hunt down these bad men that have abused children. And but anything anyway, things go bad. Often in my movies, things go things go bad. <laughs> and uh, so the movie is it's not a horror movie, but it's got quite a bit of blood in it. It's got quite a, it's got a few deaths in it, and uh, it gets serious. But I, I really like the, the the sister characters. I like their dialogue. I like their their uh, character. I like the character characters that I've developed with them. I think would be good for for you know uh, uh, two actors that really want to 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 pursue something like this. And I've been so lucky because no one gets paid. I, these movies are made for practically no money at all. Uh, but I'm about to hopefully get a new camera that's going to cost about eight hundred dollars. And it's a DSLR that shoots in 24 frames and it shoots in uh, 4K. And uh, it's a Canon R50, I believe. And I think I'm going to get it from Walmart because you get some extra stuff with it. You get two lenses, you get a telephoto and a, a wide angle lens with it and some other extra stuff. And, but it's going to be, you know, the camera and then I want to get like a four, four year warranty on it. It's going to be about $900. So. For me, that's quite an investment, but I really want to do it, you know, get a new camera and I really want to get a, a laptop with at least 32 gigabytes of memory for uh, uh, editing. So we're talking about 
about a fifteen hundred dollar or more investment, you know, to uh, to work on the next uh, film and to um, the films hopefully after that. Uh, so if you want to, if you want to invest, you don't get it. There's no return. You don't get any money back. <laughs> uh, the uh, I'll show it again. The shovel uh, from my movie Crystal. And if you haven't seen Crystal, let me know. Send me a message. I'll send you the link to it so you can watch it. But in this, a girl named Crystal, which is a girl, uh, a college-age girl that was murdered and then brought back to life by the, mm-hmm. the, spirit, the spirit of a serial killer. And she goes on a killing spree. And it's not her fault because she's being led by this serial killer's spirit. That's using her body to kill people. And she uses this shovel to kill people. But anyway, this shovel is signed by Megan McGuffey, who plays Crystal in the movie. And this is the shovel from the movie, the only shovel in the movie that she used to kill, uses to kill people. But anyway, I'm asking $300 for it. But it's an investment in my next movie. It will go directly into the fund for my next movie. In getting the camera and getting the laptop, things like that. So. You want my PayPal information and you want to invest $300 and you will get this shovel signed by the lead actress in Crystal. So there you go. Uh, But so that's, I'm prepping for that. I still need to get the camera, you know, and uh, so, but that's, that's kind of what I'm working on. Uh, Hopefully I'm hoping this summer that I'll be working on the movie, but there's lots to do. Not only getting the camera, but then I got to put out a casting call and find actors because I've got two men that basically they're going to play child molesters, <laughs> which is not the most romantic uh, uh, part to play in a film. But I tried to make them very human. They've done really bad things, but I try to make them human beings. You know, you don't sympathize with them, but you do hopefully uh, see them as people. Um, and, uh, you know, and they're brought to justice, so to speak. Yeah. So, <laughs> um, and uh, man, the two girls, the two sisters, looking for actresses. I've been really lucky in finding actors, though, for my, but for my short films, they're just people. Most of most of the times, I've never been in a movie, but I've been really lucky in finding some really good uh, actors for my films. You know, Paris Randall, who actually is a professional actor, was in my movie Crystal. He plays a really bad guy. Uh, some of you guys may know who Paris Randall is. He lives in Texas, and he makes short. He makes uh, mainly feature films, very low budget films. But he actually gets paid to act, you know? and he was so good in Crystal. So, was really lucky to get him. Uh, so, okay. Uh, I guess I'll kind of wrap this up. If anyone else has anything to say, though, please chime in here. Um, and uh, like I, oh, 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 the next show I think is going to be Monday at 5 p.m. Central, 6 p.m. Eastern. And we'll talk about favorite horror movie performances. The actors and actresses in horror films that you really have loved over the years and their performances in these films and, you know, your favorite moments from, from the, that they have in these horror films. So, you know, kind of like Bruce Campbell in, in, in you know, Evil Dead, uh, you know, Sissy Spacek and Carrie, and there's lots you can name. Your favorite performances, favorite performers in horror films, and, and we'll talk about actual moments in the movies that they've had, that are memorable moments they've had in the film. So, Favorite move, favorite horror movie performances, and that'll be the subject for our next being real. And like I say, that will be Monday, uh, 5 p.m. Central, 6 p.m. Eastern. And uh, please continue to watch and tune in. Uh, uh, it's been lately most of the time. My sister Kathy has joined in. Uh, she's got, she's being, she's staying with my nieces, uh, my niece at her house this next week. And that's so why I don't know if she will be available Monday or not. Um, but, uh, and we had Jake last night uh, about our uh, favorite horror movie uh, show. And he was so good. 
and I sure appreciate him participating. We'll see if maybe he can uh, participate Monday or and anyone else that wants to participate. Uh, I can send you the link where you can join us live on, on the uh, on the show and talking about favorite horror movie performances. Uh, so let me know and I'll send you the link to it um, and where you can join us. And um, but yeah, uh, and I, I plan on probably closer to the end of this month, beginning of next month, going to actually pay for StreamYard. And that way I can uh, make it look better. It can have better images, things like that. I've been a little concerned about the video quality on my end, that it seems like it's been, I don't know, about kind of blurry, kind of out of focus or something. I don't know if there's anything can be done about that. Um, we'll see what this looks like. But it looks okay, but it just, I don't know. It, it doesn't look the best. Um, it seemed like I, I, the, the earlier videos were looking better than, than here lately, and I don't know what's caused that. I've been keeping my camera on the, I use this laptop. I've been using the camera clean. I clean it every day and, you know, uh, so, so hopefully it looks okay. It looks presentable enough, hopefully, but yeah, I hope to, to you know, start paying for, I'm using the free version of StreamYard right now. Hope to pay for it and uh, get it to looking better. But yeah, if you, uh, would continue to tune in to being real, if you would spread the word about it, if you can let other people know about it to check us out. And if you uh, are watching the show, could you please give us a thumbs up? That's real quick. Just there where you see that thumb up. Please give us a thumb thumbs up because that helps other people find the show. And, you know, like I say, I've been getting some new people joining the channel and beginning some, some comments about the shows. You know, the Hitchcock show has got, got a few comments and uh, viewerships are going up. I'm really happy about that and really want to turn this into something that's going to entertain you folks and something we're going to do regularly, uh, being real. So help spread the word, please. Please give us a thumbs up. And I guess I'll sign off for now. I'll show my my boxers. <laughs> that Windows well, 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 got cameras on it, this boxer. But my and my uh, shirt and my Timu haul for today. I'm going to slow down on Timu here for a while because, like I say, you spend thirty, forty dollars a piece on these. So I try to keep it down to like three or four times a year, a year, a month in getting Timu stuff. But like I say, me kind of investing in my my, my new uh, film camera and things like that. I need to kind of you know, ease up on Timu and save my money for some other things like working on my short film. So, okay, guys, thank you again for tuning in. And like I say, just uh, uh, keep watching and help spread the word about being real. And thank you guys so much for tuning in. And I will see y'all soon. Bye-bye.